What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. So guys, we got another confirmation on another airdrop. And this was part of uh, some airdrops that we were speculating on from last year. Uh, remember, we were speculating on the Optimism, Arbitrum, Hop Protocol, or Hop Exchange, I think it's called, uh, Wormhole, ZigZag, ZK Sync, StarkNet. All of these were different projects, uh, layer two opportunities and bridges uh, that we were doing speculation that there could be an airdrop because there was no governance token uh, in existence yet. So far, we've had Optimism come out and confirm the governance token and an airdrop. And most recently, uh, the Hop Exchange has now come out and confirmed an airdrop as well as a governance token. This is part of the reason why last week I redid um, the Arbitrum ZK Sync Startnet uh, video series for you, just making sure you guys were aware on how to get tokens into those networks uh, and how to do a couple of things on those different networks so that way you could qualify for future potential airdrops. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the Hop uh, Exchange and we're going to go over the airdrop criteria. They released the information for that now and we'll go over to see how to check uh, to confirm if you guys qualified for the airdrop or not. All right. So it should be a fairly quick video. I know a lot of people in the Discord I have seen that are extremely upset because they didn't qualify for the airdrop and they thought they were. Uh, what you have to start realizing, a lot of these teams know that there are airdrop hunters out here. There are people who just look to go ahead and try to game these airdrops. So they're trying to make it where they're, they're, they're setting the bar a little bit higher. They're making it and they're requiring you to do more for these airdrops. It used to be before, if like you just interacted with the protocol once or twice, that would qualify you. Now we're seeing thresholds being set. We're seeing dollar amounts required to qualify. Um, you'd have to have liquidity pools locked up for certain amounts of period. You can't just go on there, create a liquidity pool, leave it open for like two days and then close it and think you're gonna qualify for these airdrops anymore. Um, it's happening more and more as we get like airdrop criteria released to us. So just something you guys may want to be aware of that's why when we have these test nets i always tell you to like walk it forward walk it back and maybe just come on like once a week and do the same steps it may take you like an extra five minutes but if you're really trying to qualify for airdrops guys which some of them are pretty substantial it may benefit you to take the extra five minutes all right hop protocol um i'm sorry hop exchange i keep wanting to say hop protocol hop exchange is a site where we know we can come over here uh you could bridge into layer two uh uh layer two networks as well you could do swapping you could do some liquidity pooling uh and if you did any of those it possibly may have qualified you for an airdrop they do have the airdrop uh calculator that is up now so once you come to the hop exchange you can just click on the airdrop tab over here once your wallet is connected, it will let you know if you qualify or you didn't qualify. Um, once again, the minimum requirement was to have at least transferred and bridged a thousand dollars to and from any network. So a lot of people I saw in the discord was like, man, I did $900 and you couldn't allow me to get it. Uh, it is what it is, guys. You know, don't be mad. These projects don't come out with the purpose of just airdropping free money. You know, the airdrops are benefits to us. So, you know, we're happy for them. Like I say, I'm happy for $5. I'm happy for $5,000. It was $5 more than I had yesterday, right? Uh, there is a, uh, a mirror. So you can go ahead and remember mirror is like the, a version of Medium. It's like their blog that they have. Uh, so the hop mirror exists and I will post the website for you under the video. Uh, it goes over uh, all the details as far as the DAO, uh, the plans, and you know the future roadmaps and things as far as what they want to have going on uh, for the protocol. It basically does tell you that they, it does look like uh, Hop Labs plans to turn the protocol over fully to the community, uh, so it'll be like fully decentralized, and governance will decide, um, you know, what happens from there on out. And sometimes, you know, that's a good thing, and sometimes it's a bad thing. You know, a lot of times. Uh, you get, it's a little concerning, like, all right, if you're going to turn it over to the community, is the community going to be able to actually keep this thing up and going and running? Um, is anyone actually really interested in some of these protocols that are just basically being run by communities? Or uh, basically, are they just uh, running their tokens and dumping them? So just things I always look at when, um, whenever you have uh, projects that are going to be fully 
turned over to the community's hands. As far as the airdrops, guys, there were ways that you could go ahead and get kickers and certain bonuses uh, just based off of like multipliers that you did. Um, so again, if you would have bridged over like a, a, a minimum of a thousand, 2000 to 3000, you could have qualified for multipliers up to three times um, a multiplier. Uh, the over here, as far as the airdrop, you can see three and a half percent, I'm sorry, th yeah, about 3.3%. Uh, it's going to be provided to anyone who bridged over at least a minimum of a thousand. 2% to liquidity providers. So if you provided any liquidity, um, you again would have qualified for this airdrop. The snapshot was taken on April 1st. <clears throat> So again, if you did any of it after April 1st, it wouldn't have counted. You had to have done this before April 1st. And again, we talked about this for a full year, guys. So you had a year to, uh, you know, try to provide some type of liquidity um, and, you know, do a couple of different transactions and bridges. As far as token supply, there looked to be a billion tokens. So something to be aware of. Um, and, you know, the way the supply is broken down, the initial team, the development team, 22%, uh, that's a pretty decent amount of tokens that they have. And then there's an additional 2% left for future team members. So about 25, I guess you could call it 25% of the supply is just going to the team alone. Plus you've got 6% to investors. So about 30% of this is just to the team and early investors and stuff. So um, definitely be careful with that as well if you're looking to purchase a uh, hop token. Uh, there will be vesting periods and things to be aware of, but again, the token is not out right now. So uh, you can't do anything and sell it yet. You can't claim it yet either. So just be aware of that. There are fake websites and I did feel the need to go ahead and post about this because that's something that we're seeing pop uh, pop up and happen a lot more, uh, especially after the whole ape coin and um, with the NFTs and everything going on. Uh, every time there's airdrops, there seem to be a lot of fake airdrop websites that are coming up uh, trying to get people. So be careful. This website, the difference on this one, it's app.hops. So they added an S on the end of it, and that is a fraudulent the website. The real website is app.hop.exchange. So there's a fake one with an S on it. People are connecting their wallet and they're getting their wallet drained. So I wanted to make sure I included that in the video for any of you all who are watching. That way you guys don't get uh, connected to the wrong website and get your wallet drained. I'd hate to see it happen. Anyways, I hope the video is helpful, guys. Another airdrop opportunity. Please don't sleep on the opportunity for Arbitrum, ZK Sync, and StarkNet. It still exists out there. We have not got any confirmation on any confirmed screenshots or snapshots that have been taken yet. So who knows, you could still possibly qualify. We've gotten all the hints that we know there will be an airdrop. We just don't know when or what the requirements will be, guys. All right. With that said, hope the video was helpful. Catch you all on the next one.